Hey guys, what is up? My name is Crypack, and recently I've been addicted to this game called Genshin Impact. It is fun as hell. I've been playing for 6 days and I have reached adventure rank 25. Some people would say this is a lot in the amount of time I had, others will say it's not a lot. Regardless, I want to help you guys level up faster in Genshin Impact in this guide. Don't forget if you're new around here to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and leave a like under the video. This tells me that you find videos like these entertaining. Without further ado, let's get into the guide. I can't stress this enough, but these bad boys are so important. Doing your daily commissions will give you a ton of adventure rank XP. The XP and rewards that you acquire depends on your adventure rank. For now, the highest amount you can get is 250 per commission. You receive primo gems which can be used for wishes. You also get mora, enchantment ore and companionship XP. Upon completion of these quests you get around 1000 plus XP. This is magnificent for when you are lower adventure rank as it will level you up very quickly. After adventure rank 26, every 8 daily commissions grants one story key, which are used to unlock certain story quests. The commission can vary from fighting enemies to doing short quests for NPCs. These will literally take you 5 minutes max so be sure to log in and do them at least every day if you don't have as much time to play as others. While exploring the map, doing quests, commissions, dungeons, etc, be sure to gather Animoculus and Geoculus everywhere you go. You will find only Animoculus as you begin your ventures in the world. Once you explore the region of Liyue, you will stumble across Geoculus. You need a total of 65 Animoculus and a total of 130 Geoculus in order to get the statues to level 10. It is worth leveling them up not only for adventure rank XP, but also for your stamina. Stamina is very essential while trying to explore the map. The more stamina you acquire, the longer you can sprint, glide, climb, and swim. You will get a ton of adventure XP while completing these statues. You will get around 2000 plus adventure rank XP for completing each statue, so be sure to gather these little guys around the map. If you don't know where to find them, there are plenty of interactive maps on the internet to help you. I'll include a link down below in the description for the one that I use. This little book might not seem like much, but oh boy, it will give you a lot of experience and goodies. The handbook has four tabs, experience, commissions, which we already went over, domains, and bosses. The experience tab of the adventure handbook offers rewards when completing various tasks. Upon completing a chapter, additional rewards are given and the next chapter is unlocked. In addition to the rewards below, every individual task also gives 100 adventure rank XP. But the completion reward does not, therefore you will amount a significant amount of XP when you do these. There are currently only 9 chapters in the handbook and the tasks proceed to get more difficult as you go on to the next chapter. The domains tab shows all the abyssal domains that we have access to and the rewards from the highest tier we have unlocked with our current adventure rank. This tab also allows us to quickly show any of the domains location on the map by clicking the map pin button on the right. These can give you a few hundred more adventure rank XP, but beware as if you want to claim rewards you will need to use resin which is a scarce resource in the game. The bosses tab shows the ley line outcrops currently spawned on some of the sub bosses spawned in the open world. Metacurls, Fatui agents, etc. With a separate page for each region unlocked, we can track some of the sub boss spawn points by clicking on the navigate button. There are other spawn points for each of the bosses you cannot track with the handbook. All elite bosses reward 200 adventure XP along with a certain amount of mora and companionship XP depending on our world level. Weekly bosses are even more difficult and will reward 300 adventure XP along with a certain amount of mora and companionship XP. Completing quests is essential in the game so usually people are already doing this. Main quests will give you the most adventure rank, however most people may not know that some side quests could give up to 500 XP. Usually this means there are longer quests or have some type of hard enemy to beat. These are really worth it and should be done as you get other rewards along with them. I'm sure most if not all people are already doing all their quests anyways but I just wanted to inform you guys on this. If you guys are looking for side quests, blue exclamation marks will pop up on your minimap so be sure to be on the lookout for those.
exploration will amount a good amount of XP for us. From unlocking teleporters around the map to opening all the chests you can and completing challenges. Be sure to explore everything you see as you go. In the end game, you will have to go back over the whole map to see if you miss any chests, teleporters, etc. So be sure to do everything as you go. That just about wraps our video. There are different ways you can use to level up faster in Genshin Impact. Did I miss something? If I did, be sure to comment about it down below. I would love to hear what you guys do in order to level up in Genshin. I will be making more Genshin content if it is well received on the channel. So be sure to stick around for it. Anyways, that was all from me today guys. Good luck on leveling up your adventure rank and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.